Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to actually add a product to your inventory. Um, once you've found a product that's actually profitable, it's popular, you know, and it's a good product, how to actually add it to your inventory. So I'm going to use this product as an example. Let's just say this is a product that I found and I'm like, okay, cool. It's profitable. I'm going to buy it. Um, what I actually want you to do first is add it to your inventory before buying it because a lot of people will make the mistake of not checking properly if they can actually sell a product because... I'm sure as you know, a lot of products will have restrictions on them when you're first starting to sell on Amazon. So a lot of times you'll try to sell a product, but it will be restricted to you. So what I want you to do before purchasing the product, I want you to go add it to your inventory first and then you can purchase the product. This will just help you avoid making that mistake and you know buying products that you literally will just have to go return back to the store so in order to actually add a product to your inventory you're literally just going to scroll down to this little button on any amazon listing so you can literally sell on any amazon listing that exists on amazon and this is essentially how you will do it so this is how we don't have to make listings so if you're doing the business model called online arbitrage you actually don't need to create any listing. You're not creating this title, this image, this description. All of this was done by somebody else. We're essentially just piggybacking on top of this listing. And essentially, you, you will become one of the sellers that is listed here. So as you can see, there are, I think, seven sellers that exist on this listing. And if you add yourself to the listing and then have, the, have this item shipped to Amazon to one of their fulfillment centers you essentially will become one of the sellers on this listing. And so you just need to go over here where it says have one to sell and then press sell on Amazon. And this is essentially how you will add the product to your inventory. And so as long as your account is already signed in, you will you will just be redirected to this page. So on this page, all you really need to do is add the price and the condition of the product. So typically you just want to kind of match the price that you see up here. So for example, whatever price you see here, round it up by a couple of dollars. So I would say put it at around 20 bucks. And the reason for this is that if ever the price goes up for this listing and you know, by the time your products actually go in stock, it will be maybe in a week or two because you still need to order the inventory to your house then have it shipped to Amazon. So by the time your inventory actually gets to Amazon and becomes active, the price might change a little bit. And so I like to always reach for the stars, you know, always put the price higher than you expect. And then once the products are actually active, you can adjust them accordingly. And then the next thing that you're going to do is put the item condition typically with this business model with online arbitrage or retail arbitrage, pretty much everything that we're going to be selling is in the new condition. So put new. And then the next thing that you want to do is put the fulfillment channel. Make sure that your fulfillment channel is set as FBA. So if you have the fulfillment ch channel set as merchant fulfilled, you're going to see that it's going to ask you for a quantity. So I want you to ignore the quantity because you're only going to have to put the quantity now if you're selling as FBM. So if you're doing merchant fulfilled, if you're doing FBA and you're having Amazon ship the inventory for you to the customers, so you're doing the FBA program, make sure before doing anything, just press Amazon will ship and provide customer service fulfilled by Amazon and the quantity will disappear. So essentially for FBA sellers, you're only going to put the standard price, item condition, FBA, that's it. And so essentially that's all that you need to do to add the product to your inventory. You just have to press save and finish and it will redirect you to the next page here where you just have to press save and continue. And then literally it will redirect you to a shipping plan. So now it's asking us to fill out the shipping plan to send it to Amazon. And this is where it's going to ask us for the quantity of units, but you do not need to send the product now. You can add the product to your inventory today, buy the product, but only actually send it out in a month if you really wanted to. Or if ever you decide not to sell a product you can actually delete it from your inventory so just because we're adding it to our inventory today does not mean that we have to sell this product so even if you're thinking of buying a product you can go add it to your inventory and nothing bad will happen and when you're ready to actually do the shipping plan you can send multiple items together so what i would recommend to do is just start by like let's pretend you have 10 different products that you found start by adding them all to your inventory go purchase those products once you receive all of them, then you can go ship them to Amazon and then you can create your shipping plan, which I will be making a separate video on how to how to actually do an Amazon shipping plan. So uh, stay tuned for that as well, guys. But this is essentially how you're going to add a product to your inventory. And then in order to actually go see and make sure that you added this product to your inventory correctly, you can actually close this page. It will still be added to your inventory, but I'll go show you guys where you can go find it. And so I'm just actually using a mock account uh, right now just to show you guys how this works. So if I go to inventory, 
manage all inventory this is where you can view all of the inventory that's added to your account and sometimes it will say incomplete but don't worry that it does not mean that it's not going to be added you literally just have to wait a couple of minutes and you will see that it will say inactive out of stock eventually and that's actually a good thing so you want it to say well as an fba seller you want it to say inactive out of stock and this just means that it has not arrived to Amazon's fulfillment center yet or you have not sent it yet. And once you actually do send your products to an Amazon fulfillment center and they arrive there, Amazon will make them active. So they will become active once Amazon receives them. But for the time being, you want it to say inactive, out of stock. That's completely normal. And so this is essentially how you're going to add products to your inventory on Amazon. I really hope that this video was helpful. If it was, please leave me a thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks again for watching.